Okay, let's go on to our question time. So question time is uh, sometimes a lot of pressure. People feel pressure during question time, and that makes sense because you have no idea what the audience has been thinking or doing just now. Maybe they all fell asleep, right? So even if the audience is small, this can give you a lot of pressure and make you feel very nervous. Question time is often the moment presenters feel the most fear. Many speakers try to quickly end the presentation and walk away from the stage, but this leaves a very bad impression. So of course at the end of the presentation, you don't want to look like you're nervous, you don't want to look uncomfortable, and you don't want to avoid the audience. You need to really stay positive, especially at the end. I know I've been saying this over and over again, stay positive, stay positive. But you really need to focus on this positivity at the end of your presentation so that people feel relaxed. And even if the questions are hard to answer or difficult or maybe even confrontational, as long as you present a happy face an easygoing a kind of posture and body language, I think you can get through it and the audience will appreciate it. Don't forget, if somebody in the audience asks you a very hard question or a very critical question, that's only one person. Not everyone will agree with that person. And in fact, people will like it if you handle it smoothly, meaning stay calm, stay positive, stay happy. Remember we had this matrix of the four different types of audience. This is very important during question time. Question time is your chance to show your confidence and leave the audience with one last good impression. The ability to stand and answer questions, even if there is only one question, makes the speaker appear to know the topic well and to be a professional. So it's very much appreciated by the audience that you can actually answer questions, even if it's just one question. So please don't run away. After question time begins, many presenters actually relax. By the end of a presentation, a presenter should feel confident and ready to answer questions. It is here where the presenter's interest in the topic shines and gives the last impression to the audience. We are always emphasizing how important it is that the audience thinks you like your topic, that you are an expert in your topic, that you're interested in your topic. Well, this is the perfect time to show that. This is the time where the audience sees you answering questions. And even if you have to say, I don't know, or I need to find more information, or I'll get back to you, even then, that makes them feel like you like the topic, you're interested in the topic. So this is really a key point. Different audiences require different approaches to answering questions. If you're presenting to your boss, someone who's senior in your company, then you must answer even difficult and complex questions. Questions from those above you, your seniors, but not your boss, should be answered in order to make a good impression. Questions from people who are of a lower rank than you, your juniors, may be postponed. This is simply done by saying, I will look into that question. Questions from people outside your organization, guests, and ranking lower than you, junior, can be avoided if they are too critical or complex. 